What is going on guys, Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing another episode of the Commonwealth of Australia. Uh, last time I, um, I always say last time, but I end up forgetting what I did last time. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so, um, there is actually a ship up here, it is delivering from the Western Australian, no, it is, yeah, it's delivering, eh, I can't forget it. It's delivering from and to dimp here. 133 million tons of, uh, of freight. Uh, I think in Queensland we will actually build another port. Um, we, have a, we have a deficit of 1.6%. Uh, um, so I am actually... Um, trying to mend that. We're going to go ahead and recruit 5,000 people. It'll be a cost of $2.7 billion and $13.8 billion over the course of five years. Um, we'll start in the beginning of January and finish in about 10 months. So we are going to go ahead and build that. Um, we are going to build it Eh, that can serve as a harbor. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Not a great choice, blah. But, um, it's transport of goods, and... Transport of goods is going to benefit from it, so as long as um, our economy is benefiting from it, um, you know, nothing hurt. Only thing about that is that there was no public, there was a public finances that got screwed over. Um, so we are actually going to raise the VAT tax to 11.25%. We're going to go ahead and introduce that into the parliament, hopefully in the next um, federal parliamentary election we will... Um, Hopefully in the next federal um, election in which we elect a new parliament, we will um, get a better seating. Either that, or we can just dissolve the parliament now. Um, Alright, that was easy. So, delete all of this, and yeah, yeah, I know. 5.31%, that actually made our... Um, stuff suffer. 1.9, we're gonna go ahead and increase. Funding, um, no, not to that. We're gonna go ahead and do so many small ones like occupational medicine and maternity. Um, emergency departments, we are going to give more funding and fight against AIDS and fight against cancer. We're gonna go ahead and max fund. That will be about 1.5 billion dollars um we're gonna go ahead and recruit a lot of people this is actually not to get happy this is actually what i've been meaning to do um 64,000 seems like a reasonable um and then we are going to lower that to 1.5 billion dollars so um that increases our deficit from 1.19 to 1.33 so um pretty much on track so what i wanted to concentrate on is energy we need energy we need um to hand more money to the um energy companies and to ensure that we are building and sustaining ourselves um energy wise and um as such so we are going to build a, a wind farm just around there um, and then, uh, we... <sighs> Geothermal. Do we even have any volcanoes? I think we're gonna go ahead and build, like, ten of these. Um, and we're gonna see how much energy we get, we produce off of that. We're going to, um... Build that in... The Northern Territory. I believe that Northern Territory is going to go ahead and be our little powerhouse. 
Um, I think we can actually get this done for under a billion dollars. So let's go ahead and increase this number to 15 geothermal power plants. We're going to get that done in about four months. Um, and if not, then we can just dismantle them because they will... Um, either that or we can just leave them. Hopefully we get at least 0.1 or 0 0.0 um, one around that. Um, growth does seem to be going up. Um, unemployment has unfortunately raised to um, to that. 130,000. Um, my goal is to raise that to about 300,000 because um, and we're going to go ahead and max these out um, since it is a one, one off, one off um, cost to the um, to the economy, so 60% is voting for um, against 51. Australian Social Front um, does not like our legislation. That is why we need to um, maybe soon enough disband Parliament um, and call for a new um, election, but next year actually next september we will have a um parliamentary election so we which um thankfully we are not judged by um the commonwealth of australia um is not judged by um a parliamentary system in which like is the same case as in um the united kingdom um the germans Canada and um, Japan actually um, they all use parliamentary systems in which they actually do not have um, in which they like uh, their this is Norfolk Island huh um, but basically what happens is that the um, the presidency or the prime minister is judged by the um what do you call it um by who controls the parliament so that is the leader of the party that um leader of the party that runs the the main party which i mean we're still kind of doing but um our um which i think i can actually pull it up over here um, political parties, no I can't, uh, this has to go over to the head of state, which nomination of the head of government, well, de democratically elected by the parliament, I, what? 606 days, so that's two years from now, this is democratically elected by the parliament. not democratically elected by universal suffrage. So if I come over here, look, it says a democratically elected three years election 2019. So the legis, uh, oh. You know what, I always, Okay, all of that just kind of went to waste. I was explaining all that. I had no idea what I was saying. And <laughs> and it's not even... I wasn't even right. I always thought they were... Uh, they elected their parliament. And then... Um, huh, I have the sound off. Um, I always thought they elected their parliament and then uh, elected their presidency um, differently. Um, what the goal actually can be... We can actually turn this um, to the Republic of Australia because Australia has actually been pushing for um, becoming a republic for some time and that would actually end up requiring us to leave the Commonwealth which the Commonwealth was the um, alliance the loosely based um, integrated um, system that the United Kingdom developed after the fall of the British Empire so basically we have um, the option to become a republic and to um, basically des derive our own things and um, because actually the head of government um, of 
the Commonwealth of Australia is Michael Turnbull, but the head of state is actually Queen Elizabeth II. Um, so if we end up doing that, Queen Elizabeth II will not be our, um, our head of state. So, um, police, we're going to go ahead and continue to raise our numbers. Whoa, 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 we're not doing that. It's way too much money. We cannot afford that. Uh, wow, 89,000 miles of, uh, 158 months for 7,000 miles. Let's go ahead and put that at 1,000 miles exactly. Um, and then put that at 11 months, 20 people per mile. And $25 billion, let's go ahead and do it. Um, may, I think our goal is actually going to be um, the... I think our goal is going to be 1,000... Uh, 100,000 miles. New Caledonia is on pretty some... Um, on some rough terms with... Uh, with us and nothing a good invasion won't stop but the French have a alliance and they're actually a puppet a dependency of um, they're actually a dependency of uh, from France their currency is not even worth is worth 0 0.09 so that's like less than a cent Military operations, we're not doing a lot, and we are wasting about $2 billion on a uh, foreign base in the United Arab Emirates. Um, we could just end up withdrawing our group troops um, soon enough. Um, we also have troops in Malaysia and East Timor. Um, we have about 5,000 troops in East Timor. Uh, currency, let's go ahead and see what our currency is looking at. 1.58% uh, inflation. We have a interest rate of 3%, so I don't think we need to mess with that yet until it gets to about 2%. Then we are going to try and combat inflation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra funding to education. Um... We need to tackle our deficit soon enough, um, so I do believe that we will be raising taxes. Um, let's go ahead and see what kind of taxes we can raise. In order to promote growth, I did uh, lower the company tax, but I do believe we are going to raise that to 30% exactly. Um, eh. I don't think that would be turning a profit as much as I wanted it to. We're going to go ahead and raise... Um, financial transaction tax, 2.06%. Um, our goal will be 0.1%. Whoa, that is actually very, very unpopular in the parliament, so we will cancel that legislation. Okay, we got that. Um, da, 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 da. I think we're going to try to see if we can build... I think we're going to try to see if we can build some uh, more oil wells... Nope. 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 Oh, uh, we can still build. Well, let's go ahead and build some oil wells. Uh, we do have a forest fire in the Tasmanian territory. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and send some federal aid let's go ahead and go ahead let's go ahead and put 50 million dollars into that as a um, way to help out 
before we can subsidize and um, help them once the fire is over. But um, we are also going to give them more money. Uh, forest fire is already maxed out. Uh, regulate traffic. Oh, wow. Uh, speed limits when pollution peaks. Alternative traffic. Alternating traffic every other day. Um, looks like we do have a... Um, some of that. Um, One billion dollars of federal money. Um, what, what, what was that? Uh, public finances, environment. Forest for fire, 44,000 hectares. Uh, with you two to death. Alright, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and read the paper. The Australian Tribune. Of course, vote for the bill. Didn't, didn't we cancel that? Oh, we didn't. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that, okay. Wow, our deficit's starting to hit 2%. We need to tackle that now. Um, let's go to that. And you know what? We're going to have to cut this by a bit. About $15 billion we're cutting from that. That is not in my comfort zone. Um, so we are going to build a bunch of hospitals to compensate. So let's go ahead and build. Wow, we have a very, very low federal manpower. Um, so we need to start maybe maybe messing with uh, with um, unemployment. Make sure some people are unemployed because we need their asses on the work line. Because we are not, um, which actually, I don't know how this is going to affect it, um, if we, which I am planning on getting it, if I get the 2018 version, I may end up having to restart this series, because I don't know how it's going to fare out, because all the information in this is for 2017. So 2018 is going to mess that up, or even corrupt the file, because... Um, the, the, um, there's a lot of things that are going into it too, um, such as highways, which, I mean, we're going to be able to be, start building highways from like, uh, Canberra to Sydney to, from Sydney all the way to Darwin, something like that. Like, like this place would be cluttered with highways. Plus they have the space program and stuff like that. I made a video on it if you have not seen it, um, which it is going to be the best. Oh my god, I am so excited for that. Um, let's go ahead and check our stocks. Got some good growth on our stocks. Um, with 3.63% growth. And our deficit is now down. Um, so if you guys like this, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead, leave uh, a subscription because I need subscribers and I need to get to 1,000 subscribers um, because um, if without you guys, I I don't need, I didn't even think I was going to get here. Um, so go ahead, leave a subscription, share my channel um, for those who think that um, this would be um, within their uh, range of uh, what they like. And um, I will see you guys in the next video of the Commonwealth of Australia.